Yeah. Here we go. Free pigeon, free salmon, free turbot, and free venison. Yes, One venison. Chef. Well done. We share. Yes, chef. The first orders are in, and already mistakes are being made. Hugh has mixed up his oils. I put neutral oil in it, and no seasoning. Yeah, and then we grill it. You can't grill it on duck fat because the duck fat will burn. Sorry, right, Mustacha. You missed that. Yeah. Just about to go in service for for a Michelin star restaurant. Still being shouted at. So. Um, just want to get everything done and, and get going, really. Once I get a couple of plates out, I might feel a bit more comfortable. But um, better than I was earlier still, but the nerves are, are starting to get there. We need to hurry up. I think this was the hardest thing I've ever done in my life. Take the best one. I just literally put it in a whisk like mad, yeah? Go, go. Okay, there was six minutes, so we have to finish in three and a half now, yeah? Because that's our 10 minutes of a performance slot. Can we just do it now? Come on. Yes, chef. You need to be a bit more disco, yeah? Bang, 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 you know? Gee, what are you doing? Making some nice plates there, you know? Very good. Pick out your three best ones. Yeah, here. Diana, we're waiting for you. Yes, chef. She's cooking there. She's cooking pigeon. Listen. Yeah, it's going to be faster. Just do it. It's going to be faster next Just time. Just do it. Okay, ice cream up now. Come on. I thought I'm cruising because I had everything done with the mise en place, but um, orders of four coming in, and you're looking for leaves the same size, the same uh, color, and everything, and you are. Ju it's just getting to you. Your hands are going actually shaking. Is this correct? What's that? It's not very nice. Two minutes. Now you go. Yeah. I'm not going to wait for you. I'm terribly sorry. It's a cold dish. Assemble and you do it now. Let's go. I'm done with this, yeah? She's a lot quicker. I can't wait for you. I'm sorry. OK, here we go. Four salmon, two pigeons. Then. Yes, chef. Yes, chef. Three turbots and three venisons. Yes, chef. Yes, chef. Consistency is paramount, paramount. That every dish that he turns out tonight is as if his kitchen would produce it. There needs to be space in between. Oh, come on, hurry up. Okay. Diana. Come on. Okay, next one. Let's go. Hey, clean your workbench. Let's go. Come on. Well done. Next docket. We gotta do faster, yeah? Yes, chef. Yeah. So good to see it go out. It's really intricate though, and it's really tricky, but I'm I'm glad it's out and I'm happy. I'm happy. Now I have a picture in my head, so I just have to replicate that. The attention to detail was superb. I had salmon marinated in gin and tonic, which I never expected, but it was gorgeous. I had the squab pigeon, and it was cooked to perfection. I thought the detail on the pigeon starter was excellent. It really was. And I do think it's amazing that at amateur level that they can produce a dish so complex and, and so perfectly executed. I've ordered the venison and I'm expecting something just as artistic to appear on the plate as was the start. I was beautiful. Well, now it's really your show. Come on. Although the starters need to be assembled faster, Idel and Diana seem to have maintained the restaurant's standards on presentation and taste. Next to face the test will be the main courses, Hugh's turbot and Mark's venison. Let's go. Put it on. OK, that meat is on the... getting cold there now, no? Hey, there's a reason why there's an... Uh... An edge in the plate. Why do you think? So you can stay within the lines, no? No. New plate, please. Come. You just have to have that control at the very, very last second to make those plates perfect. I show you a dish here, you make it with me, and then you have to repeat it, and then it all becomes difficult, is it? Yeah. You think, you know what, the next time I'm going to dress it, I'm just not going to do what the chef says, I'm just going to do my own thing. But you know what, you can do that in your own kitchen. But here, it's my place, and it's my place, yeah? Mark, other side up. Can you stop shaking, Mark? Come on, Mark, you're still behind. I try to stay as calm as I can, but when they start shouting orders at you, all that goes out the window. New one. I was told to move it, and I just grabbed it, and it just completely crumbled. It means that much to me that, that it, it, it does get to me. Come on, starters, let's go, yeah? We need to start the pigeons now. OK, Adele? Yes, chef. Come on now. Please give it a good push. Come on, move quicker, move faster, yeah? Okay, I told you, 
don't go over the edge. Hey, you need to stay within here. Listen, the next time I just throw everything in a bin and everything can be recooked, yeah? Okay, can we go? Go. Both of you, you're making a mess out of it. Flavor is nice, but it, it goes over the plate like it's a swimming pool. Hey, we should contain the sauce. I told you, there's lines on the plate. Sorry, chef. Please. This is as tough as on-the-job training gets. They will make no allowances for inexperience in this kitchen. OK, three pigeons, one salmon. Then two turbots and two venison. Yes, chef. How far is the pigeon? I'm on the way. Take it back. There's no carrot puree on it. Come on. Adele, it's the last time, yeah? Yes, chef. Go. With delays occurring in the kitchen, the worst fear is that anything will affect the dining experience of the customers. I had the venison. I thought it was fantastic, great flavours, really well cooked. Probably, uh, it wasn't quite hot enough. I would know that this wasn't produced by the Cliff House team, but it's very close. It's just the tiny technical detail, and particularly the plating. Free apple, free chocolates. Yes, Let's chef. go. Yes, chef. With customers who are so familiar with the restaurant standards, it's now down to Charlie and Neve's desserts to offer a spectacular finale to the lunch. OK, go. It will be expected to be perfect. There's no margin for error with the presentation. Free apple and free chocolates, yeah? Yes, yes chef. chef. On the bombshell. Yes, chef. As quick as possible, time it together. Listen, this needs to be snucked in a bit more. OK. You, you remember, they were touching each other. Yes, yeah? chef. Cooking under pressure when it's originated from your brain is much easier than cooking someone else's dish in a very unfamiliar kitchen. It's just stressful. How much longer, Charlie? One minute. Come on. Come on then. One on minute. Hatch. Two minutes. OK, guys, I really have the feeling that we're really slowing down now. Don't just plonk it down on the Yes, Think about it. Think about it. Main courses, are you getting set for another batch? Yes, chef. Uh, I'm not happy with these plates, sir. OK. Sorry, chef. Ah, oh, come on now. Sorry, I'm trying to get my cornels. I apologize. This is just turning into goo now. Keep it in your hand. You have to play with everything. And then it's just one okay. goes. OK, yeah. The quenelle scoops are the last element to go on the dessert plates. But one simple mistake, and the dish is ruined. No, no that's, that trick is, listen, just, 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 just the last, last one thing. The trick okay, is, how far you go are we this there way. now? And Hello, then, pastry. This way, go. Hey. One minute, chef. Come on. I'm feeling seriously stressed, but I'm trying to keep it together. You feel very emotional and very stressed. Hey, guys, there's a lot of people waiting now, hey. I show you, no, no listen. I can't do that. Well, yeah. It looks easy, no? I just can't, guys. I'm okay, so sorry, I just can't. Can yes, you can. Yes, you can. Get another okay. spoon. Get another spoon. Get another spoon. Carla. Carla. I always swore I wouldn't pry about this experience, but um, that is the worst pressure I've ever been under in my life. But I want to fight tooth and nail for this. Go, 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 go. Well done. Thank you. Well done. Well done. Thanks, Jeff. Thank okay. Well done, Thank you. Let's go. Thank you. Come on. Come on. Is that it? Yes. On the plate. Put it down. We need to go. Yeah. Go. Go. Oh, listen, it has to be so much better. It will be shot. Oh, yeah. Are you sure? Yes. Because these people are complaining it takes too long now. Can I get the apple yes. dessert? Make sure your canals get better, yeah? Just practice. Canal, yeah? Yes, Let's chef. go. I am in Quinell Hell, and Charlie's joined me there. This is... I'm just going to practice again. This is hell. While Charlie tries to keep a handle on his frustrations, Hugh is staying between the lines, and he and Mark finally seem to have found their rhythm. Very good. Very good. Yes, that is beautiful. That's it. And around. Are we getting the hang of it now? Mark, the meat looks good, huh? Well sliced as well. Come on, that's it. Very nice. Now the next one. Show off your herbs. 
You're picking them all day, you're showing lots of love. That's what it's about, you know? Yeah. This is how all of them should have been. It was all within the lines. And it made such a difference. Doing it. Free chocolates and free apples. Yes, yes chef. chef. And Neve has finally worked through the tears. It's like Messi scoring a goal. And she do it again. Come on, serve it! Okay. I've had it before and it was replicated perfectly. The spice cake was particularly nice and so was the, uh, the ice cream. It was very, very good. I couldn't fault it. The number of elements in the dish blew me away. The fact that they were all executed perfectly. Hats off to them. Fantastic work. Really enjoyed it. Bum in, Charlie. Sorry. That's it. You have it. You're OK. I was telling you. Go on. Keep going. It looks like a canal. Thank you, Chef. Huh? Thank you, Chef. That was the idea. As general manager of the Cliff House Hotel, we would have very high expectations of what we would produce here. And so for somebody to come in as an amateur would be very difficult. Certainly from what we've had today, they've risen to the challenge. They may not have achieved exactly what we would expect, but we would be well impressed by what they've done. In the end of the day, you have to go from amateur mode into professional mode. It's a big step. Yeah? I think you really hold up very well. The only thing you are missing is experience. It's not about dedication. You have enough of it, bucket loads of it. Yeah? Passion, bucket loads. It's just this little bit more of getting used to this kind of circumstances. So, fair play to you. My compliments. Yeah? Well done. Thank you so Thanks, much. Chef. Thank you, Thank chef. chef. If we had to choose one person out of the six to re-employ, who would you employ? I think our turbot man, uh, he can stand the heat so he can stay in the kitchen. Okay. He will grow, he will feed on criticism. Yeah. He's like a fighter. Yeah. He will know it better, he will learn from his mistakes, and he will execute it. You all did brilliantly well. You should all be very pleased because ultimately, to cook in a mission star restaurant, the standard, the beauty of the plates, the finesse that you, you showed today, the work ethic, I think it's phenomenal. So you should all be really really proud of yourself well done guys so well done there was one person for martin and us that stood out today and that person was hugh okay hugh on your return to the must chef kitchen you will receive an advantage in the next task so well done I spend a lot of time down at the beach here, just right behind us, and um, they're always very happy days with, with my family. And um, I think it's very fitting that uh, I've another happy memory coming away from Ardmore. <laughs>